This video will demonstrate how to balance equipment with the TrueSet software. Remove one of the accelerometers along with cable number one. Then you'll need the DAC box. Remove the tachometer tape, the tachometer, and the tachometer stand with magnetic base. Then remove the cord marked with the solid color. Connect the accelerometer to the black end of the cable and make sure that it is tight. Connect the tachometer to the cable and screw it together until it is secure. Plug the DAC into the same USB port that was used during calibration. Connect the accelerometer cable to the DAC box in either port 1A or 1B and then press the switch button so the corresponding port is activated. Connect the tachometer cable to the DAC in the port OP. When the DAC is plugged in, the tachometer should be on. Now secure the tachometer into the included mount and then secure the mount to the magnetic base. To start, click on the balance button on the left side. Now select the RPM filter checkbox. Enter in minimum and maximum values that are 200 to 400 RPM above and below the intended running speed. It is important to record every run at the same RPM. The more consistent the speed, the more accurate the results will be. Now click OK. Choose the proper units for your application. Millimeters per second is recommended. With the equipment powered off, place the tack tape on the rotating shaft, preferably in line with the balance hole. The tachometer should be placed with the laser hitting the tape. The blue light should light up only when the tachometer is pointed at the tape and in proper position. The angular position of the shaft where the tack laser hits the leading edge of the tachometer tape sets the zero position for making angular measurements which match the polar graph on the screen. Place the accelerometer in the horizontal position. The accelerometer should be as close to the weight plane as possible. With your equipment running, click record to take the initial data. It is a good idea to record two sets of data to ensure the results are similar. Now add or remove a known weight in a known location and take note of the angular location relative to the zero degree point in the polar graph. This is the trial weight. It is important that the trial weight is heavy enough to cause a significant change in either magnitude or phase angle. For the best accuracy, a minimum of a 20% change in either phase or magnitude is required for correction formulas. Press the record button again with the equipment running to get data for calculating the weight required for balancing. Select the calculator icon. The first tab is One Plane Balance. This is used when balancing in one plane. Select one of the first runs under Initial Run. Select one of the runs with the trial weight under Trial Run. Enter the weight and angular position of the trial weight. Make sure the rotation is correct, as viewed from the front of the equipment. If the trial weight is not being removed, check the stays box. For this example, the trial weight is being removed. Click Calculate. Enter the number of balance holes in the blades or balance holes box if they are present. If there are no balance holes, enter zero. Click on the graph to see where to add balancing weight. Note, if weight cannot be added, it cannot be removed 180 degrees from the shown location. Remember to remove the trial weight if desired. The weight must be added or removed in the same rotational radius as the trial weight. With the new weight added in the position specified by the diagram, record again to see if the readings are within range. If the readings are within specification, then the balancing process is complete. If the readings are not satisfactory, repeat the process using the current setup as the initial run. Several other tabs are available for other functions. The second tab is Two Plane Balance. This is used when balancing in two planes, i.e. front and rear. 
This 3D image is for reference on proper orientation and perspective. The third tab is No Phase Balance, which is used if the tachometer cannot be used. This method is less accurate. The fourth tab is Split Weights. This is used when the required balancing weights are not achievable. The fifth tab is for Combine Weights, which is another option when the required balancing weights are not achievable. The sixth tab is Drill Depth. This is used when removing material for balancing. Calculate mass is used to calculate the size of the weight being applied. The trial weight is used to calculate the trial mass. Next is the change radius tab. This calculates the trial mass on a different radius. The series tab is used when balancing without a trial mass. The RU rigid systems tab is for residual unbalance of a rigid system. The RU Soft Systems tab is for residual unbalance of a soft system. This concludes the balancing of a spindle. You may move ahead to the next section or review the material again if needed.